Picture this. A massive semi-truck barrels down the highway. In its path, a school bus filled with children. Impact is inevitable. There's no time to swerve, no way to stop it. In that split second, one question could mean the difference between life and death. Where is the safest place on this school bus? So, I bet you probably think the back of the school bus is the safest place to be during a school bus crash. Well, think again. With this video, I want to shatter some common misconceptions about what is the safest place of the school bus, what's the most dangerous place of the school bus. Based on real crash dynamics, your child's life may depend on the information on this video. So please guys, if I can ask one thing, I don't care if you should subscribe to my channel. I just want you guys to like and share this video because the information in it can save kids' lives. Please do it. All right, before we get started, I want to do a quick skit and a quick video for my buddy, Jason Burris. Back of the bus, baby. This is the best seat in the house back here. I mean, uh, it's like a roller coaster ride. Woo! <laughs> you mean the bumpiest ride of the house? I'll pass. I'll sit here in the middle of the bus. Yay, bus driver. Hit that bump. Now, <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> 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 well, that one hurt. <sighs> Route one cleared. <laughs> told you that's the whiplash effect it can get really bumpy the bag gets tossed around more than anything else now most people think that school buses are one of the most safest form of travels and they are i got the facts right here in front of me so let me uh, i got a little paper i'm gonna read it from you read it for you that school buses, they account for about 0.2 deaths per 100 million miles traveled. Now, to compare that to other forms of travel, uh, just driving your kid to school in your own passenger vehicle is about 1.5 deaths per 100 million miles, and motorcycles equals about 25 deaths per million miles. So basically, your kid is eight times safer riding a school bus than your own car. Now I can't do that, it's kind of hard to do the math on the, if your kid drives on the back of a motorcycle to school, but yeah, that's gonna say it, it's a lot. And all this is according to the NHTSA, which is National Highway Traffic Safety Administration. Now, when you heard the word crash, we always in our head imagine the front end collision, the um, head on crash. But now there's actually three major forms of crashes in a school bus or even a car or any other mo mode of transportation. Three different uh, crashes. First one is the frontal crash. You, you hit someone head on or hit something head on. The second one is the, the, side, the side impact crash. And the last one is uh, the, the rear end collision. Now, each one of these uh, types of accidents, they change on how the uh, the crumple zones work and the characteristics on how the forces move through the, um, the the vehicles and the person in the vehicle. All right, let's get into where not to sit. Where is the most dangerous places on a school bus to sit? Well, the first one is, of course, you sitting here in the uh, the front seat, like right here. I'm sitting in the front seat. Windshield's right there. This is a good place to sit, but now the bad part about sitting in the front seat is um, there's nothing in front of you. Like say, if the windshield breaks, you're gonna get sprayed with glass. Now I'm not talking about like these glass shards that's gonna cut you up and everything, but it's more like uh, glass dust. So the next area right. I wanna talk about is of course, anything along the, the side of the windows, along, along the side of the bus. The bad thing about a side impact collision is you don't have a crumple zone. It ain't as reinforced as the front of the bus and the rear of the bus. Pretty much all the forces are going straight through the windows into ever inside the bus, the seats, the, uh, the students. So a side impact crash can be really bad. And finally, we're gonna talk about what everyone thinks is probably the safest in the bus, and that is the rear seat right here. Now, the rear seats, 
is safe if you're in a front end collision. Uh, however, if you're in a T-bone or a rear end collision, there the bad part about the rear of the bus is what I call the fulcrum effect, or some people call it the whiplash effect. The, the front of the bus is, of course, the heaviest part of the bus. You got the engine, you got the transmission there. So if you're getting T-boned, not by a car, usually when you get T-boned, you know, and, it, and it's really bad, usually it's like with another 18-wheeler or uh, a rental truck, you know, one of those uh, U-Hauls, things like that. And so if you get T-boned by one of those vehicles, the front of the bus is pretty much going to stay stationary and the rear of the bus is going to get like swung around and since uh it's going to, this rear of the bus is going to be swinging around the whiplash effect is going to be a lot more noticeable back here in the, in the rear of the uh, rear of the bus now if you watch my other video about why school buses have emergency exit windows like this one right here see that says science says emergency exit I did. I covered one of the crashes there. It was in Rustburg, Virginia, and it involved a semi tractor trailer that rear ended a school bus. That, the school bus was stopped picking up the kids. It had all the signs out, the lights going on, and everything. The semi trailer didn't see it, smashed into the back of the bus. Um, I got a picture here that's not from this one, but it's a different one, uh, something more, more modern. You see, the back of the bus got crumpled up. Luckily, in this this one, uh, no one died on the bus. The only person that died was, of course, the driver of the um, the rental truck. Okay, back to Virginia, the Rustburg. Okay, this one here, I had this diagram I'll throw up on the screen. And the diagram shows uh, there were three fatalities. Uh, two of the people that died were in the back of the bus. And the third person that died was at the very front near the door indicated by all these different colors or the markings on the uh, diagram but yeah if you're being rear-ended by a semi tracker trailer or some bigger truck um or even a concrete truck all that force has nowhere to go but inside the bus it's going to crumple these back couple seats and you're going to be really bad hurt if you're in the back of the school bus so being in the back of the school bus is probably one of the most dangerous areas to be Okay, let's talk about the safest seats on the school bus. Now, in my opinion, some of the most safest seats on the school bus is right here. The, um, I guess it'd be better if I turn the camera around. Let me turn the camera around. All right. So the safest part is right here. We, got, we have the wheel wheel right here. So this is where the rear tire is. You can see by the hump there. So... My, the safest place would be halfway between this and the front. So I'll probably say somewhere right along here. That way you're between the bus axles and this is among the most structural sound of the bus is this section right here. Now, then I'll talk about uh, sitting at the window or the aisle. What do you guys think? Well, okay. If you're sitting at the window you're going to be more liable to say the bus, you know, this, if you get in a side impact, the, the window is going to break. And so you'll be closer to the window if you sit at the window seat. So personally, what I would do is I would probably sit on the, uh, the aisle seat. Now you got to be careful because the bad part about the aisle is you got students with these big backpacks or musical instruments and they're going to be walking down this aisle. But someone walking by with a big old instrument, they may hit your arm. You'd be like, ow! So you got to be uh, careful of that. If you're the window seat, don't worry about people with backpacks. So school buses also use something called compartment minimalization. That has always been a hard word for me to say. Compartment minimalization. Okay, that's pretty close. If it's on the bottom of the screen, if you don't understand what I'm saying. Now, compartment minimalization is each one of these seats has these tall uh, backrests which acts like its own uh, airbag so it helps to absorb the energy on a furrow impact and uh, usually kids ain't as tall as me so usually their head will be further down closer so if they're in a rear impact this also acts like the uh, the back the uh, the headrest 
by sitting upright in the middle of the row can maximize the protection that can absorb. All right, guys, since we're talking about compartment metallization, which is really a hard word for me to say, I figured I'm gonna, it's good that we all learn from analogies. So I thought about this and what I decided to do is show you an analogy with some uh, old eggs, which are um, out of date, for almost about five days out of date. So these are actually destined for the trash can. So I was able to go back there real quick, grab these. I'm like, hey, I'm gonna use these for a video real quick. So the analogy is like, since we're talking about compartment metallization, if you open up um, a case of eggs, what do you expect to see? Eggs. And of course, every dozen eggs is gonna have a bad egg. So you can say that every, every school bus is gonna have a bad egg on the school bus, so to say. So, so as you see, these eggs are supposed to be in the trash. So every compartment of, these, of this uh, egg carton is basically like an egg has their own little uh, compartment. Kind of gross. But every egg has their own compartment, which makes them really safe. So let's say if you're in a school bus crash, um, the eggs are, let's do this right here. I don't want to roll the eggs on the ground, so I decided to use a milk crate. For one, it slides pretty good, as you just seen. So let's see how the eggs fare in a frontal collision. So let's see how, if I push it, are the eggs going to go flying? Well, okay, it's still harder than that. Well, okay, it was like a ramp. So that's a good, uh, good analogy for compartment metallization because each egg is in its own compartment. Even yeah. the most safest seat on the school bus cannot protect you from a flying backpack or a musical instruments with those hard cases. Those things are gonna hurt if they fly around the bus. So make sure that you're, when, you, when you sit down in the seat, you put your bag beside you, hold on to it, not in the middle of the aisle so people can trip over it. We're gonna be a tripping hazard and becoming a flying projectile if we're in, in the middle of a school bus crash. Now, school buses are only designed to sit one way. They're not designed to be like how I'm right, I'm right, I'm right here in the middle of the aisle talking to you or talking to your buddy in this front seat or hanging out, talking to this person, see what they're doing. Uh, the school, to be safe on the school bus is to be actually in the seat. Um, compartment metallization only works if you're in the seat that way, if you have a frontal impact, this will absorb all the energy. And also one of the most important things that you can do is know where your exits are. When you sit on the bus, like right here where I'm sitting, I'm sitting in the third seat from the front, you see right there. I'm sitting in the third seat. The first emergency exit is literally right across from me or right behind me, two seats back. So when you sit down on the bus, take a look around you and see where the, the closest emergency exit is from you, that way, just in case you are prepared. And remember, being prepared is half the battle. Now I know. And knowing is half the battle. In the case you are in an accident, listen for the uh, driver's instructions. He's gonna direct you on what to do. Either if there's no fire imminent, the best place for you is gonna be remain in the bus. Now, if there's a fire or some other hazards, like say you're in the middle of a railroad track, be on the bus is the most dangerous place to be and your driver will let you know hey let's evacuate hey let's stay in the school bus so make sure you follow instructions this is something that can really save your life so do it listen open those ears get off your phone listen so you as a student whenever you get on the bus like this right here i want you to remember three things okay first of all you're gonna secure whatever you bring on the bus, your backpack, your books, your jacket, whatever you have, when you sit down, you're gonna secure it. You're not gonna have a middle of the aisle, on the floor, it's either gonna be in your lap or beside you. The second, I want you to just look around. Where is the nearest emergency exit? Either it's here on the side, the front, or back of the bus, or even up here, the roof hatches. So get on the bus, secure your stuff, sit down correctly, know where your emergency exits are and then share this video this could be a matter of life and death okay so please share this video with your family your friends your facebook instagram uh snapchat anything because this is really important and this could save your life this could save your child's life your granddaughter's life so please 
share. I don't really care if you subscribe. If you subscribe to my channel, I love you, perfect. But I want this to be first and foremost sent to everyone that rides a school bus or potentially could ride a bus because this could save your life. This could help improve your chances. So please share the video, like the video, subscribe if you want to, you don't have to. But if you also like um, to know where do these kings come from, emergency exit windows, click right here, right here. I'm gonna place a little box right here. If you are any interested in any kind of school bus related topic, this, this is really cool. I learned a lot by researching this video right here. So click.